Yeah, doing a another quick video. Um, if I seem less enthusiastic than I usually am, I I apologize. I'm not in a good mood today, or ever for that matter. I don't know. It's just it's been a bit of a day. But we have here DC League of Super Pets. Um, tell you what. Oh, by the way, I had something here before, but it's nothing important. Um, but. I do remember, you know, watching a lot. Whenever I think of Super Pets, I do remember um, Crypto the Super Dog. I remember seeing that cartoon a lot. Let me see if that... Let's see. Uh, crypto... Yeah, Crypto the Super Dog. That one I remember. Um, you know. Eh, it looks like it doesn't age well, uh, from what I remember. I mean, this is IMDb, so I can't really trust them at all sometimes. It really depends on the information. Uh, yeah, but I do remember the series, though. So, Crypto the Super Dog. Sam Vincent was the voice of that. Samuel Vincent is a Canadian. Canadian. Oh, uh, the voice of uh, Double D. That's interesting. Uh, Double D from Ed Ed Nettie. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> and I miss Ed Ed Nettie. There's, that's like nostalgic for me. Um, the, apparently he's done like a lot of voice acting. So yeah, I, I do remember that cartoon a lot. So whenever I think of the Super Pads, I, I think of, I remember, I think it was on, hold on, let's see, was... Rip of oh damn! I yeah, stupid button. I swear, I'm not really good today. It was crypto the super dog? Let's see. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna try the, the audio here. Did crypto the super dog ever air on Cartoon Network? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It, it was Boomerang, uh, Cartoon Network. I remember that. So, there are a lot of stuff. Uh, probably some that don't age well, for example. I, I know this one is not going to age well. Yeah, Camp Laszlo. <laughs> I can see. Uh, yeah, but I, I do mostly remember Camp Laszlo. Uh, that was one. What else? Uh, Cartoon Network. Um, yeah, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. This one I remember. <laughs> Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. That's a classic for me. And what else was on there? Now, I remember there's Total Drama, but then there's also... I know it's one. Uh, I know I'm going to regret typing this next one. Uh, My Gym Partner's a Monkey. Yeah, it's going to get low ratings. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I do remember this one on TV. My Gym Partner's a Monkey. And uh, let's see. I'm going to do it because... Total Drama, I think I remember seeing the first three, um, I remember seeing the first few shows of Total Drama, you know, let me see, uh, the, <laughs> technically it's better, yeah, uh, is an original series of the greater Total Drama franchise, which consists of six seasons that, the first season, yeah, alright, so I do remember seeing the first three seasons, uh, uh, Total Drama Island, uh, then Total Drama Action, and then Total Drama World Tour. Uh, fourth season, I only saw a little bit of uh, Revenge of the Island. I never really saw All Stars or Park of Two Island, but I do re vividly remember that. Uh, I wonder, I wonder who was the voice for the sleazy host, uh, Chris. <laughs> Characters, uh... Hold on. Voice actor for Chris from Total Drama. Voice actor of Chris, Total Drama Island. Christian Potenza. I remember, yeah, Chris McLean. <laughs> he was a freaking douchebag, that, guy, that character, but he, he was likable, uh, honestly. He's, like, funny. Yeah, Canadian voice film and television actor. Oh, he uh, had a small role in uh, the tuxedo, the the Jackie Chan movie. But yeah, uh, there's a lot of stuff on Cartoon Network. It only took 
this small, like, it's only 30 seconds. Uh, let me check, uh, how I'm going here so far. Yeah, five minutes, and I barely talked. Blame this trailer. It reminded me a lot of Cartoon Network. Like, Cartoon Network back in the day, I remember it used to be at least quality. You know, at least in my eyes. Uh, you know, some of those older cartoons I mentioned. Some might have aged well, some might have not. I haven't really seen Cartoon Network in a while. I do remember there was also Adventure Time, and then there was Regular Show. But after that, it just kind of... What else was the one? Steven Universe? What else was it? It was the one with the bears. Um, Cartoon Network. Hold on. Yeah, We Bear Bears. Uh, that one. The most current one. Then Steven Universe. Uh, although one I do know that uh, from now that I look back on it is horrible. And I don't plan on revisiting. Let's see. Uh, live. Hold on. I think I know the, the the name of the show. It was... I used to like it as a kid, but then, you know, let's see. Jimmy. No. No, not... Let's see. Live. Action. Animated. You know, it was it was a one show that was very bad. It, it, it's got like two on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, Jimmy's had that one has not aged well. Uh, but yeah, let's think of something else positive. DC League of Super Pets. I don't know what to look for, but it looks like we've got Dwayne John, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and Kevin Hart because they've got to do everything nowadays together. I mean, Central Intelligence, both Jumanji movies, and uh, Keanu Reeves is in this. That's interesting. Let's see what's here. I mean, John, I'm gonna rock this crypto. Kevin Hart is ace. All right, Kate McKinnon, John Krasinski, Vanessa Bayer, Natasha Lyonne, Diego Luna, and John Ah, uh, comes... Wait, is this a movie or a show? I don't know for sure. Let's see. DC League. Yeah. Apparently it's a movie. Huh. The Pets, uh, oh yeah, Ace the Bat Hound, I remember that now, uh, I'm looking at this now, alright, so all that we know is that, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is Crypto the Super Dog, and Kevin Hart as Ace the Bat Hound, oh god, yeah, but you got a good cat, apparently it's a movie, it's actually a movie, so, uh, from the looks of it, it looked like a TV series, but hey, it's DC animated. So Warner Animation Group. Uh, and Jared Stern. And apparently Dwayne The Rock and The Rock is also producing this through his uh, Seven Bucks Productions company. So yeah. Um, uh, Ace the Bat Hound. Man, that's just kind of... Yeah, I didn't even know this was a thing that was happening. Now that I know, it's just a movie. Yeah, screw it. I'm leaving a like on this because I I enjoyed it. This will de This is definitely what the DC Universe deserves. Exactly. And the Green been the wrong worlds. Screw you, the gremlin. I'm, I'm leaving a dislike on your comment. I don't care if you see this video right there. Yeah, it looks whatever. Uh. Um. Keanu Reeves in this, and they didn't get him to play Batman's dog. We have Root. Takes the pets of the entire Justice League. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm. Tell you what, they always say a dog is a man's best friend. That is true. I, 
I have three dogs, to be honest. Um, I think uh, Crypto the Super Dog. Uh, yeah, he was also in. Uh, yeah, Ace the Bat Hound was also in Crypto the Super Dog. Ace the Bat Hound, voiced by Scott McNeil, and. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was in uh Batman and Beyond with uh voiced by Frank Walker. Um Streaky the Supercat. I don't know who that is. Uh Jumpa. Uh Jumpa. Apparently the pet of Pink Kangaroo. And uh wait, let me read this right. Sam Levine, do I know that name? Do I know it? Do I know it? I think I know that name. Sam, no, I thought it was someone else for a second. Uh, I, I thought wrong. Um, actor. I must have thought of someone else. Another one named Sam. Uh, he was a character, he was the actor, he's an actor in, um, Freaks and Geeks, uh, one of my all-time favorite shows that was sadly canceled before its time. Wikipedia Jumpa. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. Bajert Stern. Why do I know that name? For some reason, I know that name. Um. Stern. Why do I? Uh, Jared Stern is a writer and producer. Oh, okay, so, uh, alright, so he wrote the Lego Batman movie, and I think this is his directorial debut, or not, Happy Anniversary was his debut. Uh, TVMA, live action directorial debut. I've seen a lot of directors who have done uh, this one, for example, uh, Nicholas, yeah, Nicholas Stoller, British-American director, I think. Technically, I think he was born in London, yeah, born in London, mostly raised in America. Um, yeah, Nick Stoller, I remember he transitioned to animation after a while, like, yeah, uh, Forgetting to Marshall, Get Him to the Greek. The five year engagement and then the first neighbors movie. Then Neighbors Two, meh. But uh then he directed Storks, which was actually pretty good. It was actually funny, I I will admit that. Uh then DC's League of Super Pets, he's the executive producer. Which apparently he divides a lot of his time because, you know, he's written a lot of movies that were mostly aimed for grown ups. Nick Stoller, like um Fun with Dick and Jane remake, Yes Man, um in Zoolander 2 and stuff, and Night School, but he's also written a lot of kids' movies, so I think it's that thing where it's like some certain directors, they just divide it. Ben Schwartz, oh, okay. So I'm gonna end the video here. Um, yeah, I didn't know this was happening. Really enough, I might wait until to see what reviews say, because somehow I always think the DC animate, but that being said, the DC animated, let's see, DC animated movies yeah uh technically there's like the dc animated movie universe which works well and then there's also the lego batman movie which um i love the lego batman movie it's not that no one ever talks about it anymore it was so damn good uh the lego batman movie it was like uh, Lego Batman, hold on, Lego Batman movie, yeah, the Lego Batman movie. And, uh, oh, oh, that sucks. A sequel was announced in 2018, but it was canceled after Universal Pictures acquired the rights to the Lego movie franchise. That sucks, because a lot of the Lego movies, uh, in the Lego movie film series, yeah, which, man, yeah, now it's owned by Universal Pictures, 
So, I am wondering, uh, yeah, the first, looking at the reception for this, like, uh, box office performance. Um, so, yeah, um, the first Lego movie made on a budget of $16 million. It grows 257 uh, point seven in North America, yeah. You know, so and uh, two hundred eleven in other territories. So, yeah, and Lego Batman, which didn't make as much money, but was still a success. It was really with Lego Ninjago, where it felt like it was already become starting to become stale. Uh, Lego Ninjago. I wanted to like that movie so much, but it just didn't hit me. It just didn't hit with me. It was meh overall, but. It could have been so much better. And then there's a uh, Lego Movie 2, the second part, which was 99 uh, million, but it only made 192 million. But it got good review. It, well, it got a positive reception, though. Sort of. Like, um, right there. Globes. And, um, yeah, canceled films. That, this is sad. Um, uh, now I gotta move the laptop again. Okay, so, yeah, uh, the Billion Brick Race. In March 2015, Warner Brothers announced that a third Lego movie spinoff titled The Billion Brick Race was in development. And by July 2016, Jason Siegel and Drew Pierce signed on to the project as co-directors and co-writers. It was announced that Jorge Gutierrez was announced to replace Pierce's co-director at the time the film was scheduled to be released on May 20. Let's see. The film's plot was announced by by Pierce to be a Lego racing movie inspired by pre-existing racing films, including the Cannonball Run. In December 2019, concept art of the film's main characters were revealed by the film's initial director, Jorge Gutierrez, along with confirmation the project was canceled. The poor box office results of the previous two Lego films, along with the film industry's length conceptual phase, were given as primary reasons. And Lego, like, I understand this one, uh, I understand the one with Lego Batman, unfortunately, because Lego Batman, in my opinion, is the best film of the Lego movie series, and yeah, confirmed that a sequel was in development, however, the sequel was canceled due to Warner Brothers releasing the Lego rights, because DC Comics is owned by Warner Brothers, so it doesn't make sense, but it seems that, you know, they are gonna do it, but yeah, I, I can't really anymore. It's sad. But hey, you can't always get what you want. The le lesson learned is uh, Lego Batman is awesome. And it's sad that we'll never get to see a sequel. But I'm fine with the first movie. So let me know what you all thought uh, about the trailer. I'm cautiously optimistic now. I'm, I'm going to definitely check this out. I'll check it out. I'll see. This is just like a teaser trailer. So I'm still going to have to wait and see. Uh, like... Other, another trailer. Maybe if it comes out, you know, probably later this year. But, you know, hey, uh, let me know. I'll leave a link to the video. Uh, to, I'll leave a link to the original video down below. Link to my Instagram. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to wish you all Godspeed, everyone. Take care.